Hey guys, this is Jesse from Fishing the Dream. And today we're going to go over uh, rigging the Inu worm. It's a new uh, method of rigging a rubber worm out of Japan. And uh, I'm going to try to do a few variations on it. And uh, let you see how easy it is to uh, put it together. You can do it with household products. Um, very inexpensively. So let's take a look at it and see what you think. All right, guys, we're going to talk about the new Inu rig. And there are some variations out there on how this is done and some different styles that you can do. Um, it's a very simple method to make this worm move the way that they've uh, designed it to. And I'll go through how to rig a rubber worm with the uh, tubes through the body. It's very easy, uh, very inexpensive. And there's also some other ways of doing this that are even cheaper. Um, me, I'm always trying to cut costs. I'm on a fixed income as since I'm retired. So I try to do things that are uh, cost effective. So basically, this is how this worm works. They have run a tube through the body in two different places and basically put a hole in the bottom of the worm for your line or your D-ring to go through at the end to stop it, the line from pulling through the worm. And I'll show you how this operates. When you pull the string up through the, or the line up through the hook and through the tubes, it basically draws the body up. And with this one I've designed right here or put together, it's actually using a weight on the end of it, which is a glass bead. Uh, I have them around the house, so I use them when it comes to uh, making fishing lures or anything that I want to use. You know, they, anything can be repurposed. So basically, when you pull the when you pull the line up it makes the body wriggle on the worm and looks makes it look lifelike as you're pulling it through the water and you can pre-rig these and on a leader and that way you can use them anytime you want they're already put together and all you have to do is tie them to your fish line or your clevis on your on your line that one this one right here is uh with a like i said with a weighted bead on the end of it I even did one with a finesse worm, which, I mean, it works just the same. It moves just like it should. And the only difference with this one is, is it has the uh, D-ring on the end of it, the little metal clasp to stop it from coming through the worm. And I will go, I will go through uh, how to rig one of these. And I'm going to do it with a, uh, a uh, drinking straw. You can get anywhere um I, I actually like to use the swizzle sticks the small the smaller ones like that you get at a gas station for stirring your coffee uh and the reason i like using the plastic uh straw is they're very pliable and they're uh malleable so like whenever it you've got your fishing line running through it it doesn't cause any uh chafing on your fishing line so that being said i'll show i'll go through how we're going to do this. So I cut a uh, point on the end of the worm or on the end of the hook so it will easily go through the rubber worm. So I'm going to put the straw through the worm at a 30 degree angle just like so. I pushed it through. So then I will take the worm, lay the worm down so you can see where it's going to go through the body again and you want to do this to where they're perpendicular so that you can get the curvature of the worm exactly how you want it when you draw it up with the fishing line through it so I lay it on its side and I will push the straw through the body just like so and as you can see as you can see it went through easily so that being said I will I will not put the glue on here but I'm going to show you where you put the glue 
So basically, you'll have the worm and the straw stuck through it. You'll place a little bit of glue here and a little glue here, here, and here. Let that dry, then you'll come back, and then you'll cut your straw off as close as you can to the worm body. Get that one a little bit closer. All right. So, that being said, both of the straw tubes going through the worm are exactly the same side of the worm so that when you draw it up, it will be a straight profile. So you take a little bit of fishing line, which I've already pre-cut some fishing line here. You'll run it through your hook just like so. And just hold both ends in your hand and hold on to the hold on to the hook. Then you'll take the fishing line and run it through the very end of your fishing worm. You'll pull the line through just so, like so. So your line is through the worm and I pull the hook back off of the line. Then I will take the fishing line and I will run it. I will run it through the body just like so. Through the through the tubes that we placed in the in the worm. All right, so now we have the fishing line through the worm and through the tubes. So just for showing you how to rig this for the sake of doing it, I'm going to place the place one of these plastic beads on the end of the fishing line. One of these uh, glass beads. Which you can do this with, like I say, you can do it with a D-ring. You can do it with a little clevis. You can, you can also even add a hook to the very end of your, of your worm instead of, instead of going to the, to the extent of putting a weight on it. And these can also be done weightless, like I say, with just a little D-ring. This is very simple to do. What you'll do after you, after you uh, get your bead on the end, draw your string up, just like so. And as you can see, it makes the worm pull upward towards the space where you're going to put your hook. And I will show you how to do that also. So, you'll take your hook and you will lay your hook against the worm and place it to where you believe you want to put your hook through so that the string comes through the eyelet of the hook once you put the hook into the body of the worm. So, we'll do it just like so. Flip it back up and it will be in line with the straw going through the hole. Then you will take your fishing line and you will run it through the hook, just like so. So it's threaded into the hook and right in front of the eyelet. So as you pull up your worm, you can see it goes through the eyelet of the hook and the worm straightens back out once it's the pressure is relieved off of it. And like I say, you can do this very inexpensively and pre-rig these before you go to the water. 
And, you know, you can also use your imagination. There are many ways that you could rig these worms. Uh, multiple hooks, weighted, non-weighted. Just use your imagination. Get out there and practice with them and, and try to, you know, try what works best for you. You know, and if you do try this and you like the what you see on this video, send me some comments. Uh, let me know how it worked for you. Um, I'm I'm new to the I'm new to this rig, and I'd like to uh, see some people's uh, you know reactions to how they how they've caught fish on it. If it works for them, what way it works for them? You know how you rig it yourself. I mean, there's there are multitudes of ways to rig these. So, like I say, just use your imagination. And uh, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate your support. Thank you.